Celtics move on by defeating the 76ers four games to nothing. The first ever sweep in 15 playoff series between these two squads. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's over. Joel, you need to take it serious. You don't take your training serious. You don't take your nutrition serious. You don't take the game serious. Hinky had to do this whole process and go through sports hell. They haven't gotten better as a team. Al Horford is nearly untradeable. This gave me another center for $25 million a year, and I have 16 power ben forwards. Ben Simmons my... hasn't improved. One of the most disappointing teams of the last 20 years. The Sixers have reached a deal with Doc Rivers to become their new head coach. We have to learn how to win. We've proven here that you can do a lot of winning and win a lot of games, but we have not proven yet to be the winner. Daryl Morey will take over as the president of basketball operations with the Sixers. The new Philly GM traded Al Horford and his big contract. Daryl Morey's like, gosh, let's go get a couple of shooters. And he does it in an hour. Now he has Seth Curry and Danny Green and real spacing. Tyrese Maxey. We have two young superstars in their prime. You want to put around them guys they can build with. I'm just riffing, baby. Ben is special, man. When he gets the ball in the open floor, there's very few like him. There's some guys that passed on Tyrese that are going to regret it. Every time the ball left Seth Curry's hands, I said, that's good. MB has a chip on his shoulder right now who wants to really prove himself against. Now we have a new opportunity. We have new guys on the team, new leadership, and, you know, I think we can go all the way. Boy, they're going to be a dangerous team. <laughs> Welcome to East Sleep Sixers, and today we got the final show of the regular season. Today I got Carl with me. I got Melissa with me. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Hey. First, of, first of all, what a hell of an intro, bro. Like, like if, you, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're not up out of your seat right now, ready for playoff basketball, ready for Sixers basketball, you know where we've been. As far as the process team, the whole media laughing at us, ESPN cracking jokes about us, laugh now. We here now, and we're fully loaded. We're healthy. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Let's go, baby. I'm excited, man. So, you I'll, know, <clears throat> go ahead, Jose. Go ahead, Zay. I'm pumped up. Tell I'm us, sorry, man. man. I was just excited to bring, like, this is just a tease for what's going to come in the playoff start and moving forward from us so we got a new platform that we're using um the intro um there was not a better time to use it in the final game of the season so i thought i'd just bring that to y'all try to keep it as a surprise for everybody because i just wanted everybody to be on the edge about it and there we go man hard work paying off that's all i gotta yeah. say most definitely i mean i'm just pumped i'm super duper pumped jose that was an amazing video Carl, like you, you, I feel you. excited. I'm ready for the playoffs to start. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yes. Now, listen, talking about our playoffs, that we can't miss out on it. Talking about the bench, they showed up for us tonight so that we can end up on a bang. How do you feel about our bench, fellas? Um, Let me start off by saying that um, they, 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 they played good. I mean, they played good. They lost the lead there for a quick second, but they, they easily bounced back. It, it looked at effortlessly. That's why I'm not even going to, like, you know, um, throw any shade on their effort because they took the lead again really fast and held it all over again. So it wasn't a seesaw type of thing. It was not something that is raising eyebrows. Um, They look good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crowning them, you know, th just the bench alone to be NBA champions. But they did what it takes to win a game, and that's enough. You know what I'm saying? That's enough because none of the starters played. So to me, that was that was a good show um, to win yeah, the game up. without any to win the game without any of the starters. You know what I'm saying? And um, to to just get the you know just 
man, end the season with a win. Like, you Most know what definitely. I'm saying? And Most definitely. after all the hard work, and we're gonna just end the season with a win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, first first seed, as we all know, clinched the first seed. You know what I mean? It's been 20 years, and we still, you know what I mean, on top. Now, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, what if y'all the Milwaukee Bucks of this year, you know what I mean, get bounced out real quick? Uh, man, listen, we haven't done this in a long time. We deserve to celebrate this. We deserve to enjoy this victory. You know what I mean? And shout out to the bench. Yeah. Shout out to the bench. Shout out to the bench. I want to address that question Miss Jones, uh, excuse me, MJ, as we deemed you. Uh, oh, not but not Jordan, Jordan though. We're not, not talking Jordan. about Jordan. <laughs> We're not talking about Jordan. Uh, but not MJ. I, I want to address that question. Um, I'm definitely excited about the bench. I've been excited about the bench all year long. Of course, they've had their, you know, their roller coasters, their dips, you know what I mean? But for the most part, this young bench has given us great minutes this year on defense and offense. I've watched players grow like Korkmaz. You know, Korkmaz last last year couldn't stand in front of a refrigerator. You know, he 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 just <laughs> he he just, he just couldn't stay in front of anybody. And this year, you know, I see him making the extra plays, the hustle plays. He's moving his feet. And you know, for a guy that shoots like that, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's going to be it's going to be the, the the sky is the limit with this kid. You know, uh, I'll talk about somebody else, Maxi. Now I'm going to address Sixers 24/7. I told you so. I told I told you in the beginning of the year this kid got the goods. You know, I heard a lot of people saying, "Well, why isn't he playing? Well, why why isn't Doc putting him in?" Listen, man, Doc knows what he's doing. He's a motivator. Actually, Doc has been Maxi, young point guard in the league, thirsty for minutes, but he's on a team full of you know, players that's done it before, you know, and he has to be shown the way. Now I'm feeling like Doc is starting to let this kid off the leash. Hey, I think it's go time. You know, if, if Shake doesn't want to get it done off the bench, cool. I'll have a short leash for you. I'll throw Maxie in the game. Let's see what he could do. Because the kid has shown he, he can shoot. He can drive at will. And, you know, he has the pace that Ben Simmons had. As far as you know, pushing the pace. Go ahead, Jose. Yo, one second, one second. So Timmy Snyder chimes in to give us some recognition on our fancy background. And his comment <laughs> his comment was, Oh, we fancy tonight with the background. Just, shout just out a little Timmy bit. Snyder for noticing just a little the bit, background. Timmy. Just you know what I mean? Shout out to Timmy. You know what I'm for noticing. I mean, man, this, but um, this is hey this is Timmy. I just got God. listen, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Timmy. But if you just coming on right now, you missed a hell of an intro. So when oh this is God. over, you have to go back and watch that. Play please. it back, man. Play it back. Oh, man. Play it back. Might bring Once tears again. to your eyes. <laughs> Play it back, bro. Once again, I, I, I want to address something as far, as far as the group wise and whatnot. Now, um, I've been in this group for uh, a lot of years so far. And how, how I've seen this group grow is word of mouth advertisement. So if you're watching right now, if you're watching later on tonight, or if you're watching tomorrow, post on your timeline. Who are the Sixers fans on my friends list? Okay, invite them to the group. Let's do this together. It's, it's a party, man. We in the playoffs. We going to the chip. Let's get more people involved. The more the merrier. You know, the more great conversation pieces. You know, we just happen to be up here. But there, there are very, very knowledgeable fans in this group also. You guys are a part of it. We want you to be a part of the process, okay? So um, with that being said, man, uh, I'm going to go around the horn, and I'm going to ask a very important question here. Is Joel Embiid your MVP? Is Ben Simmons your defensive player of the year? I'm always going to be on Ben Simmons' side for the defense because he brings like no other. I still can remember that Spurs game and the chills that went down my spine when he took those two charges that helped us get that win. Of course, the putback sealed the deal, but when he takes the charge, when he steps his defense up every single game, now we may not agree with his offense all the time, but every game he brings his defense. He brings 100%. Now, Joel... 
I love Joel, but we just want him to bring 100% every game. He still has to work on that. Um, MVP status, I mean, at, at one point of the year, I'm not going to lie, I was on the bandwagon. I was like, MVP. But then when I started seeing him not give 100% every game, you know, on the other side of the ball, because offense is one thing, but you got to give it to us on the defense, especially because you're a center. When you play that five position, that's your court right there down there. Nobody should be easily bringing layups down there like that. You should be grabbing the boards, getting in position, putbacks. You should be blocking all kinds of shots. I just need your stats to come up okay. a little better on the defensive tip, and then I can call you the uh, MVP. But other than that, uh, I don't know, man. Okay. All right. Okay, that's fair. Um, uh, Jose. I, I'm, I've been alive and watching the NBA long enough to know that snubs are, are, are a thing. Um, can can Jokic get snubbed and then be win this? Of course he can. And the reason why I'm going to say this is um, we've seen Embiid out and this team fall like spiral straight down we've seen them out and they and, and they held ground but when the schedule got tougher you seen what happened without him you know what i'm saying true indeed. Um, true indeed so is he the team's mvp yes is he the league's mvp that's a tight one that's too tight okay. to to have to answer and what probably is gonna um not working his favors the, the the amount of games that he played. Um, it's not real easy to win MVP yeah. with that amount of games. You understand what I'm saying? That's probably going to be the decider factor when it's all said and done. Because had he played as much games as Jokic played, um, it would be no, no contest. I don't care what anybody says. True it would be a no contest. True indeed. You know what I mean? True indeed. But the fact that he's missed that many games um, – because of low management and whatever, you know, uh, mysterious sickness they got floating around that no one knows about, um, you know, <laughs> that's, that, that's again, going to be the deciding factor on why he does not win the MVP. But um, at the end of the day, MB, man, we all know how you play. We know to us, you, you are MVP. Um, to a lot of other people, I've heard them on ESPN, all types of sports radio um, saying you are an MVP. So, Forget if you get the trophy or not and, and go for the bigger picture because it's not about individual awards here. There's a team that is 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 rallied around you and there ain't no iron team. So, you know, get your troops together and handle your business and show the people trophy or no trophy why you're the MVP. Jose, I love how you That's said good, that he's our team MVP because that is 100%. He is yes. definitely our team's That's MVP for sure. You know, that and, is and correct, speaking 100%. of the, 100%. Speaking of the defense, I mean, we can't leave our boy Matisse out of the question here. He should be in the top three for defense. We've seen him do some spectacular defensive plays that were like, whoa, this guy here? Come on. For what, a second year player? He is phenomenal on a defensive tip. I yeah. mean, if he gets that offensive game yeah. well rounded, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. We can't leave him out. True indeed. No. Mm -mm. True indeed. I, I, and that's another player I've seen get better uh, throughout this season. You know, even his jump shot get better. Learning his release point. Uh, you know, not jumping too high. Letting the game come to him. I think I think it would all it will all click with Matisse. And I I honestly think his ceiling is Andre Iguodala. I, I really think he's that type of player. A little bit more athletic defensively. You know, a little bit more athletic defensively. But I definitely think he's that type of player. He's a winning player. He's the type of player you want on your team. He's a glue guy. He does all the little things that nobody else wants to do. And that's very important. You know, very important. So, um, Are you saying he's a role player? I, I, he's saying the he's role, role player. player? He's, he's, he's an ultimate role player. And um, I will answer my question. That, go ahead, Jose. Uh, no, no, I don't want to cut you off, man. I just wanted to say a quick comment. Um, he's the Philadelphia Sixers version of Dennis Rodman, if you ask me. True indeed. True indeed. In his, own no, way, no, uh, in his own way, the defense that he brings, because no one really spoke about that much defense from one player since uh, – um, all right, I guess I can mention Draymond um, for a minute there. But before that, it was like 
somebody who was like, if he keeps this up, he's going to be fear. He's going to be fear. People you are going to run I, away from him. I, when I really saw his impact, Jose, not to cut you off, when I really, really saw his impact on the city of Philadelphia, you know, I was riding through North Philly and um, I saw this painting on a wall, a mural of Matisse. I, yeah. Not indeed. Yeah. Not Ben Simmons. Not, not Simmons. Not Simmons. Matisse. <laughs> nah. Matisse. This 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 city loves defense. We love gritty defensive players. And I feel like this is the perfect city for him to thrive in because his confidence is going to get built. Because we praise we praise players who play defense. So I think eventually, you know, the offense will come. He's not making a hundred million or ninety million. So it, it's not a lot of pressure on his back to put up 20, 25 points a game. But uh, to segue off of that, Mr. Ben Simmons, oh, the pressure's on, baby. I, I, I saw your comment. I saw your comment in the paper. You don't care who we play. You're not scared of who we play. So, therefore, when you get on the court, I want to see that in your game. Listen, I want to see how you came out quick. Against, against Utah. Real quick, not to bring back last year. Do you honestly think mm -hmm. the Sixers get swept with Ben Simmons in the lineup? Honestly. Last year, Say it again. Do you honestly think the 76ers get swept in that Boston series with, with Ben Simmons? No, in the lineup? no, 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 no. I don't think we no, get swept. No. We missed we, we missed our perimeter defender. Like we missed our pace setter in that series, and they took full advantage of it. You know, like like somebody mentioned in the group earlier this year. There, there's no really MB without Simmons, and there's no Simmons without MB. They, they, they kind of go hand in hand. Not saying that M, MB still won't put up his points and rebounds, but we might not get the win. You know, they, what one does doesn't do the other does better. You know, they complement each other very well. But that, that gap needs the strength. I need to see Ben go get it in times when we need points. I need him to, I need to see him go aggressive toward the lane more often. You ain't got it's a can of mixed vegetables if it's missing the green beans. <laughs> Facts. Just saying. It's Facts. I'm just it's saying. <laughs> well, I mean, Facts. honestly, it's Ben's confidence. Facts. It's Ben's confidence. Sometimes you can tell when he's confident and he's bringing it. And then sometimes you can see where he's not confident. And so he's not bringing it. I kind of feel like however Ben is feeling that day, that's what we'll get out of him. But if we can just continuously encourage him, Doc continuously encourage him to bring it every single game. I know you guys have been working on that. Continue to work on him with that. Like he can be completely unstoppable. Like those games where we see when he drives it in the lane and dunks, nobody can stop him. They just have to move out of his way. So if we can, if he continues yeah. to feel that, if he continues to realize what he can do out there, man. I mean, also, too, yeah, if yeah, MB realizes how powerful he is down low and that you really don't have to take a lot of threes, you really don't have to do those fadeaway jumpers. If you're down there, just, ah, come on. Like, nobody can stop you at all. All they can do is I, just get dunked on. I, I feel as though ben, Embiid is a student of the game, and he's watched how teams have guarded him over the years being that Ben Simmons – is reluctant to shoot. So what Embiid does is he tries to overcompensate for the fact that Ben doesn't shoot, and he'll give defenses something to think about about him shooting, which is solid when he's making it or when he's he, he's shooting an open shot. But Embiid, if you got two people in your face, if you're 18 feet away from the basket and somebody's playing up on you, you know you gotta you gotta find a better way to uh, you know get some buckets. Other than you Hold shooting on, a contested shot, give me a second. Um, Timmy Snyder said, and 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 before I say what he said, it's kind of sort of what Jay Frager was hinting towards when he was on the show earlier. He just didn't say it this way, but Timmy just put it in the perfect way. Remember when we was talking about having the whole bench on the floor or some bench, some starters, and what have you? Well, Timmy yeah. said this. Oh, yeah. We need this. We need to stagger Joe and Ben more. As great as they are together, I don't think either is maximized together. That's a great point. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. 
that works hand in hand with what we were saying be before. Um, you can't have that entire bench on, on the floor at the same time. It needs some type of starter, you know what I'm saying, to lead the way there, you know what I mean, for these young kids because the, they kind of look lost. And that's when Maxi goes crazy at 180 miles per hour at mock speed, moving around the court like a hockey puck. And, 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 and um, you know, and the rest of these kids just doing nonsense. Um, again, I'm hoping that Mike Scott – gets put on the injured reserve of the injured reserve. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that's how far back. Please. Like, that's how far back please. he has to be. Like, keep that boy inside the locker room, please. Don't even listen, bring him out. listen, let's let's just go down the list and see what we had. Tyrese Maxey had 30 points tonight. Like, come on. Oh man. That, 30 he, he was, points he was awesome. tonight. He you had awesome. Isaiah Joe, he has 17. Paul Reed has 17. You had Shake Milton with 15. George Hill had 14. Uh, what do we have? How much did, how much Red, did Mike Scott have? Mike Scott had five. That's what I was going to tell a J, you. Against a JV Mike team. Mike Scott had you know, five. And you know what? You know what? That's what pisses me off the most. Can we it's say he like played 25 minutes? 25 it's minutes. Not like, it's not lack of skill. I really legit think. He just doesn't care anymore. You know, he doesn't have a love for the game. <laughs> I, I really think that. That's the only thing I could come in, out, out my head, man. He just doesn't do the things that he did when he first got here. When he got here, he, he wasn't the best there, but he hustled. He grabbed rebounds. He did all the dirty plays, and he hit shots when he was open. He's done yeah, he none did. of that this year, man. Yeah, he uh, did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you know what I mean? He was he – was Dirty guy, man. He's not even the dirty guy no more. He don't want to get dirty. So what do we need you out there for? Put in B-ball Paul. We're going to start a whole the last thing. Right time, bro, the last Paul. time I seen a confrontation on the court, Mike Scott easily walked his way towards the bench. You seen that, too? You seen that, too? I said, you seen I, that too? I, I, I came to my eyeballs like, <laughs> what the hmm. hell did I just witness, yo? Hmm. Hmm. Man, he would have been the, bro, he would have been on the front line. Right. A couple of years ago. You know what I'm when saying? When he first got here, when he first got here, he was North Philly Mike Scott. Now he's like he's like North East Mike Scott. You know, I'm, like I'm gonna have upper, to upper upper northeast. Bro, I, northeast. I live in the northeast, man. What are you talking about? I said greater <laughs> I said greater northeast, Jose. That's why I'm telling you that, brother. Greater so, northeast. So I need to go back and look at the tape on that incident that happened on Lincoln Financial Field. Cause I need to see. I know I seen him swinging his long arms around, but did somebody deck him and then he got his marbles loose or something? Like I don't know, man. I, I'm just trying to like yeah. analyze. I'm just trying to analyze what's wrong with the guy because he doesn't seem to he be could. the that same could've. person. That could that could have played the part, you know, attitude wise towards the city. He was a big Philly guy when he came here. You know, he, he was going through the cities, going to different playgrounds. You don't see none of that no more. I, I think that really turned them off to Philadelphia. But guess what, Mike? You go to the Eagle Stadium with a red skin jersey on, you asking for it, brother. You know, th this is how we do in Philly. You you don't go to the Sixers game with a Lakers jersey on or a Celtics jersey on. It's just certain stuff you don't do, bro. And, and if you want it to be that hardcore to do that, that that's what's going to happen in Philly, Mike. So, you know what I mean? I got I got, I got a friend that plans – If you, I got a friend that plans on going to an Eagles game with a Cowboys jersey. Don't do it. Listen, let's go Cowboys because you know that's my team. You know that's my squad. I can't do it. Can't cut it off right now. I can't. No, we can. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. But listen, hey. hey, guys, can I tell you something? Back to the ranch. Back to the ranch. Even, even, to the even ranch. Ray John, even Ray John Tucker got 10 points tonight, and he only played 17 minutes. I, Mike's got, you like, we got to shout you call? out. Woo! One hand join? Did you see I mean, that come John? on. That kid is explosive, man. But too bad he won't get you no know, uh, time here. We'll probably see him in the future on another team, you know, a, a losing team where he could, you know, show off his skill set a little bit more. There, we, we all maxed out with minutes. We maxed out for years to come. And that's the exciting thing. You know, we the, 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 the eight, nine players we had are very young. And, and they, they're going to be together for a while. And that's what I'm excited hey. about, man. They, 
Hey, Nikki, Nikki said Nikki said and B can average 20 free throws per game if he sets up on the block more. He averaging 12 absolutely. now. Um absolutely. so he can he can he absolutely can if it wasn't for Steph Curry and all the three point shooters in the league changing this game. So but listen, here's the thing though with, with, with Embiid, when he does a fadeaway, we no longer have a rebounder down low. So if he doesn't make the shot, we don't get the second chance point. He has to understand that you still yeah. have to play the center position. We need that. I mean, yeah. come on, that's one of the things we that I can that. say our team really needs. We need rebounding and putbacks. Now, when Dwight is in the game, we get that, you know, but at the same time, yeah. when Dwight's not in the game, we don't get that. And that's a part. That's a I big can part say, of it. I can I, I can say this much for that playing devil's advocate. The six of the 76ers have the most post touches in the NBA. So, you know, Doc has been going to the post way more than any other sixth regime, you know. But, uh, you know, MB's game is growing. And everybody knows who he wants to be like. He wants to be like Kobe Bryant. And, you know, God darn it, sometimes this year he looked like Kobe a little bit. Like that little fadeaway, <laughs> little fadeaway he could do. Yeah. So, I, I was, I'm excited with his growth. And, and I'm scared to put a cap on his ceiling because it's so – Tremendously high. I won't be surprised if this you, guy. You've seen the you've seen the post, right? You've seen the post of who he idolized yeah. growing up. You've seen that, right? Oh yeah. And then you see how oh, he yeah. plays. Oh yeah. Exactly. It's like identical exactly. to all three exactly. of them guys. It is. It is. It is. You know what I mean? And I feel as though we've when we took that gamble years ago, getting him in a draft, man. I, I really don't, and we joke about this in Sixers 24-7, the best group in the league, uh, I mean, in Facebook. Uh, we joke about, you know, him wanting to be a guard. But I honestly feel like the guy has guard-like skill set. And he's also a seven foot two, 300-pound big man that should be down there on the block. So I think he even wrestles with self sometimes. And I feel like he's going to find a medium, and he's found it this year. He just hasn't played all the games, you know. And uh, if he played all the games, by far the best player in the league, bar none. But I will give him MVP. This is why I will give him MVP. Although Jokic's stats, Joker stats is up there, up par with him, minus assists. You know, he got way more assists than MB. MB is definitely a defender. Jokic does not defend the rim at all. He doesn't play defense, you know, so that's a very important part of the game. If you're if you're if you're scoring and stopping people from scoring. You're definitely an elite player, and the only thing that could stop him from being MVP, I would say, is those 18, 19 games missed 19. You know, uh, that's a chunk. That's a huge chunk. But uh, yeah. we, we're sorry to say we're especially in a, in, a, in a not full 82 game season. You know what I mean? True indeed. It's a huge chunk. It's a huge chunk. Can we agree so, that um and, and beat plays defense sometimes? Because I can't really quite say he's a defensive player. Can we agree that I mean, sometimes he plays defense? Can um, we do that? I mean, I think it's a little I, more. I can't I think, I think, say it's think, all think, the time. I, I can't. I think it's a little bit more than sometimes, but not all the time. So okay, got, yeah, yeah, not all the time. We can't yeah. say that he plays no, it all the no, time. He, 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 not, I, can, I can get a layup on him. I could get a layup on him. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> sometimes he cares less for even contesting, man. It's yeah. Like, the, as tall as he Jordan. is, it looks lazy when he tries to put a hand up or something like that. You know right. what I mean? I don't know, right. man. True. I don't want to nitpick because the guy's I mean, and listen, I love him. I want to tell man. you this. I love Embiid. I do. I just feel like he has the potential to be so much greater than what he is. And that's yeah. why I'm pushing him. As, like, as fans, we're looking for perfect. And, and that's why we're nitpicking at what he doesn't do right. <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? so, exactly. You know. Exactly. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I think he puts so much of a load on himself on offense. You know, physically, you know, even though he's in great shape this year, you know, if you're constantly got to be the breadwinner on offense every game, you know, that takes a lot out of you getting open, banging it with people. So sometimes I feel as though he just doesn't have enough energy to, to perform on that level, that same level on defense that he does on offense. Not saying it's an excuse. One day he'll get in better shape and he'll be able to do both at that same level. 
but he needs more help on offense. And I'm calling out for that. I want to see that this playoffs. I want to see Tobias with 30, 35 Seth? point games. I want to see. Seth, Do where are you, Seth? Seth. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> because Seth has been known that listen, the commentators are saying that statistically, when Seth is balling, we win. We last game and beat had 13 points. We killed the Orlando Magic last game. Seth was scoring. Yes. Every time Seth is a part yes. of the offense, we win. Seth, if you don't get yes. your behind in there, man, I'm gonna have to come to your house, bro. <laughs> Yo, I got but something yeah. scrolling. 20, I got something scrolling 20. down on the ticker. Um, who used to write that after every Sixers win? Let me see. Y'all Sixers twenty four seven knowledge. Big Joey, man. Big Joey, man. man let's get it. Rest Big Joey, cheese. man. Let's get it. Uh, let's get Joey, it. Man. Let's get Big it. Joey, man. That's exactly how he wrote Big, it. This one like is a million you, ends. Joey. You feel me? Yep. This one is for so, you, man. I could see him drinking the Fireball yeah. right now, man. Oh, I can yeah. see him drinking it right oh, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. uh, we, I want to give a very, very heartfelt thank you to everybody that's taking part of this podcast, whether you were a guest, whether you were a watcher, whether you were commenting, whether you saw us a couple of days after the fact. You know, we definitely appreciate you. This one is for y'all, man. This is for y'all. This is y'all podcast, Sixers 24-7. We have our own personal podcast. Let's take pride in that. You know, let's take pride in that. Watch the content, comment about it. And, you know, who knows? You may be on here as the fourth screen. You know, we, we keep a watch out for that type of stuff. And we love we love you guys' input on the show. You got Nikki the right there with the three hearts. Look at it. Look hey. at it. You feel me? What up, like, Nick? come what on, up, man. We Listen, we, we got together. We, we came up, you know, the guys came up with an idea. We all got together to make this idea a reality. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to Brandon and Sabri for that. You know what oh, I mean? Shout out and, to God, and, man. Um, shout out to the Shout guys. out to them for shout that. The you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we now we bringing it to fruition. And everybody's sure. playing a part. And everybody sure. is reliable. And everybody's sure. coming on with efficiency. That's the most dopest part about it. You yes. know what I'm saying? Um, so... We only getting better now. Look, you know our our platform is looking and and, and we, we everyone sounds good. We, you know what I mean. Everybody looks good on here. You know what I'm saying. Um, it's just gonna get better from here on out. And the intensity in the playoffs is just gonna be retarded. So we have to match that same intensity. Bring that on here. You know what I mean to this podcast. Um, it's like it's like it's like what Carl said. Whether you're watching us live or you're watching us later on or in the morning because you didn't stay up this late, that's fine and dandy. We see who, we see the amount of views that the, that the show is getting. Somebody's watching. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's about a, yeah. it's it's about consistency. And we have to stay consistent. We, no days off here. We got to just keep yeah. moving forward. And and everybody might not be able to be on at the same time. We've seen it. I work hard. There'd be times I can't. I'm on the road in my truck while I'm driving home. And, and I'm trying to jump on just, just to show, you know what I mean, how much I love to do this. Um, But it's, 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 a, it's a collective effort. You know what I'm saying? And when one man goes down, the other man got to step up. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. We yeah, got each other's happening? backs. And as long as everybody just can, you know, implement that, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Shout out to everybody. Shout out what to Brandon. Shout out, shout out to Sabri. Shout out to you, Carl. Shout out to you, Melissa. You know what I mean? And just, we just got to come together and, and make this happen. And Shout we'll out see. to you, Jose, man. And that you fantastic that? video, dude. I almost <laughs> want to see it again. Like, yeah, let's go. Awesome. That was awesome. Put it back on. What? All right, that's how we're gonna end the show. Here are my closing thoughts. Thank you, Sixers. We're definitely gonna end the show with that. Thank you, thank you, Sixers, for a phenomenal season. Um, we're looking forward to the playoffs, and that's all I gotta say about that. Go ahead, Carl. Well, I, I think first and foremost, man, I think Nikki, man, I think Nikki for you know seeing the lone wolf out there. You know, I was rocking out on my own, doing my own little uh you know, Sixers podcast thing, man. And I was looking for a family, man. And and honestly, that's what I found. I, I got two younger brothers and two older brothers and a sister. You know what I mean? And, and we're just what you guys see. We're a family, man. Uh, you know, we go to games together. We eat together. 
You know, we talk about, just like we do in the group, man, we, we talk about Sixers, but well, first things first though, we thank you guys. We thank you guys for watching us. We thank you guys for, for uh, sitting with us through all this tinkering through different technical things and figuring things out, man. It's only gonna get bigger and better from here. So we wanna take you guys on with the ride, on the ride with us. So uh, please join us for more playoff shows. May t- uh, uh, the 20th, you know, uh, Sabri set up a, a great, great show with brother Kai Carlin. He is the Sixer beat writer. This is a big show. Shout out to Sabri for setting that up. Uh, I want you guys to tune in. But in between time, we'll be going live. You know, you'll see us different on live occasions, talking Sixers ball, chopping it up with you guys. We're not going to leave you stranded. We know it's going to be days without Sixers ball. So, you know, stay tuned. You know, you, you'll see our faces. Melissa, you want to give a closing statement? Hey, I'm just going to say Sixers 24-7 is the best group on Facebook Period, bro. Period. And listen, we're going to the playoffs, and we're the number one seed, baby. Let's go. I'm ready for some playoffs. Sixers, we love you, and we are rocking with you to the end. We are hoping that we get to the chip. I'm trying to tell you I can smell Broad Street. All right, y'all? We are going for the chip this year. I can smell it. Let's do it. Let's support (laughs) Sixers twenty four seven, baby. Nice camera okay. action. One, two, three. Hit it. That'll do it. The Boston Celtics move on by defeating the 76ers four games to nothing. The first ever sweep in 15 playoff series between these two squads. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's over. Joy, you need to take it serious. You don't take your training serious. You don't take your nutrition serious. You don't take the game serious. Hinky had to do this whole process and go through sports hell. They haven't gotten better as a team. Al Horford is nearly untradeable. This gave me another center for $25 million a year, and I have 16 power ben forwards. Ben Simmons my- hasn't improved. One of the most disappointing teams of the last 20 years. Sixers have reached a deal with Doc Rivers to become their new head coach. We have to learn how to win. We've proven here that you can do a lot of winning and win a lot of games, but we have not proven yet to be the winner. Daryl Morey will take over as the president of basketball operations with the Sixers. The new Philly GM traded Al Horford and his big contract. Daryl Morey's like, gosh, let's go get a couple of shooters, and he does it in an hour. Now he has Seth Curry and Danny Green and real spacing. Tyrese Maxey. We have two young superstars in their prime. You want to put around them guys they can build with. I'm just riffing, man. Ben is special, man. When he gets the ball on the open floor, there's very few like him. There's some guys that passed on Tyrese that are going to regret it. Every time the ball left Seth Curry's hands, I said, that's good. MB has a chip on his shoulder right now who wants to really prove himself again. Now we have a new opportunity. We have new guys on the team, new leadership, and, you know, I think we can go all the way. Boy, they're going to be a dangerous team.